Yeah, I know Ralphie's birthday is coming up. But of course I'm going to get him a present. I'm at the, the toy store right now. Let's see, present for Ralph. This money has been sitting here since 1998, not doing anybody any good. I want to get Ralphie something nice. Yeah, a few thousand should do. <laughs> okay, so at a Ralph party, always get to the cake before too late. <gasps> That's the best damn treehouse I've ever seen. Whoa, the September issue. Woo, free wood. Woo oh, my treehouse sucks. Mm -hmm. Do you want to practice your speech on me? <laughs> no need, honey. Same speech I give every year. The opening joke about Lenny's grandma always kills. But just in case, I'll defrost a failure ham. me. I have savers. If I get heckled, I'll say, get a half-life. <laughs> Is it time for you to have the talk with your dad? No, I'm tearing it down. Ralph has a cool tree house, and mine sucks. I'll tell you what, why don't I spruce it up for you? Huh? Sounds good. <laughs> don't worry. You forget, most of that's hair. So I said, get a half-life. <laughs> Now to end this perfect day on the perfect note, Mr. Homer Simpson. Uh, uh, Webster's Dictionary defines a speech as a series of words that... <laughs> I'm a failure. Shall I release the hound, sir? Oh, a pretty good seminar this year. Do you know Barbara Streisand once forgot the words to a song and didn't perform in public again for nearly three decades? Yeah, but she still had James Brolin to cuddle. So, on a scale of ten to ten, how'd you do? Drip, drop, you flop. Drip, fail, drop, fail, you flop. Fail, drip, fail, drop, fail, you fail. flop. What the hell is your drop, problem, idiot? <laughs> I don't know. I know what will cheer you up, homie. You're gonna chuckle your blues away. This is the best kind of comedy. No writers. Okay, we're gonna perform a little improv. First, we need a location. Ah, yes, New York City. Now we need a relationship for me and Kathy here. Loveless marriage. All right, all we need now is an object. Anyone. Fear of public speaking. Maybe he has trouble talking in the dark. Hey, Jerry, bring up number seven. New York City, loveless marriage, fear of public speaking. Oh, eek. Oh, oh, oh. What, what, Kathy, what's wrong? I, 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 I. Come on, Kathy, say something, anything. Forget about it. <laughs> wow, wow, these guys do everything I can't. Maybe they can teach me. I don't know that they're interested in that. $500 for the first eight classes. Improv class? Yes, and come in. So many ideas, but how do I turn them into comedy? I don't know how. The secret is to lose yourself and become, say, a suicidal auctioneer. Uh, uh, okay. What am I bid for this noose? Do I hear 100? No? Going? Going? <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh. So then you pay me? No, never. And if you open your own school, we'll break your legs. Excuse me. I'm from the city. May I see your permits? I don't have permits. Gah! Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Whoa, automatic blinds. Yeah, I think my mom put those in. No need to thank her. She's just doing her job. I gotta hand it to you, Dad. You went from fear of public speaking to starting your own improv troupe. Don't freak out, but the improv critic from the Springfield Shopper is in the audience. <gasps> Steve Thurlson? No, Thurlson is their improv reporter. 
Grant Hood is their improv critic. Mm. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's true. Ah. Hi, everybody. I need a location. Uh, Jackson Square in New Orleans. And a type of person that might be there. Someone with confidence. I guarantee it. Pass the gravy, Bart. Yo, thank you. Jeez, who ordered the crab? (gasps) There's crab? There's no crab. There's no thank yous, no appreciation, nothing. (gasps) Dad, Dad, the Springfield Fringe Festival just invited us to perform. We're going to be on the main stage on closing night. This is going in my log. Yay! <laughs> More crab for me. There's no crab. Marge, don't take it to heart. Kids are ungrateful. That's their job. You can cheer up watching me at the Fringe Festival. Good for you. Well, 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 what are you saying? Oh, she's making me nervous again. Homer. Oh, what? I slept on it, and I'm madder than ever. Go get part. Oh, my God, Marge. You woke up with morning wood be mad. Mom, can I come in? You like your eggs a little runny, don't you? What? We all forget just how many wonderful things you do. Oh. Uh, you're, you're making me cry. <laughs> that apology speech you wrote worked like a charm, Pop. Gee, I don't know if I belong here with all this talent. Dad, this festival encourages experimentation, even failure. Well, what if I don't fail? Desperate times call for desperate measures. I am getting a helium balloon. That makes anyone funny. I can't think of anything funny. Homer, Homer, relax. You're a riot. Remember how funny you was when you was the confident Cajun? And look, just let me feed you the prompt. Wait, you mean cheated improv? Okay, let's go over what you're going to call out one more time. Uh, ethnicity, Cajun, location, back alley. Good, good. The back alley Cajun bit. Are you cheating by planting suggestions? Hey, lay off your dad, huh? Everything that's supposedly spontaneous has already been planned, okay? Reality shows, uh, lip-sync singing, even award shows. I refuse to use performance-enhancing sugs. Homer Simpson. Okay, everyone, I'm Homer Simpson, and I need an occupation. Back alley Cajun. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, A father I can look up to. I hear... Drive through cashier. It's now two o'clock. Time for verbal tea with Amy Levine Gonzalez. Oh boy, this is what sunny Sunday afternoons are for. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's not that good. In our second hour, humorous David Sedaris takes a wry look at overcrowding in America's prisons. But first, we're giving away tickets to the latest film by acclaimed director Gladswill Clarent. Her films are so lyrical, the phone lines are going to be jammed. (laughs) Hey, I won four free movie tickets and it starts in half an hour. I feel like Roger Ebert or his kiss-ass new partner. But we don't have a sitter for Maggie. (laughs) Howdy, Homer. You here for a view and a my shampooing? Shut up, Flanders. I need a favor. Would you mind watching Maggie for a while? Would only be until later. I'll babysit. Thanks, Ned. You wear a bathing suit in the bathtub? Yeah, so I can't see my own trinket ink. Makes sense. Instead of video games, they have weird free newspapers. Hmm. Mom, am I a butch or a femme? Honey, you can be anything you want to be. <laughs> What language is this? Gibby Gabby? It's Albanian, but the producers added subtitles to make it commercial. Mom, I don't want to read. It's a weekend. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Maggie. That's something to collect, not enjoy. It's one of my humble figurines. You like them, huh? Come on, I'll show you the other 300. (laughs) How could this have... Judas Bear, you're not touching your last supper. I can't eat because my conscience is heavy. Boys, enough of your shenanigans. It's bedtime. I feel so much empathy for those villagers. I was so bored I cut the ponytail off the guy sitting in front of us. 
Look at me. I'm a grad student. I'm 30 years old, and I made $600 last year. Oh, Ned, let me give you a little something for babysitting. Oh, I can't take money from a neighbor. Although business at the Leftorium's been pretty slow since that big chain store came to town. Not a big house, Ned. If you need extra money, why don't you rent out a room? <laughs> well, I do appreciate that you've got a cashier's check. Now, do you have any pets? <laughs> I need a place to crash when my mom's drying out. Well, I'd love to help you out, but you do have to be over 18. I am. Check out my ID. Wait, this is my license. No, it's not, you hump. I am Katya, and this is Vicky. We make much study at community college. We're, like, here about the room. We moved out of our dorm because it was, like, co-ed. Welcome to your very own Ned and Breakfast. Silly talk means yes? <laughs> hey, a banner ad. SexySlumberParty.com? It's flashing. We better click it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you may inside come. I got five beta cappuccinos for Ned's pre-meds. Flanders! <laughs> Spank me again with little boy's picture. <laughs> <laughs> what are you kids laughing at? <laughs> Dad, look who's in there. <gasps> Flanders? He doesn't even know what's going on! <laughs> Wait till I tell everyone about this! <laughs> and you say Mr. Flanders remains completely ignorant of their dot Kama Sutra? <laughs> yep, and nobody's telling him. And the best part is, stupid Flanders doesn't even know what's happening in his stupid house. How are those two comely porters of yours, Ned? <laughs> well, Mel, they're swell. Oh, yeah. They're just what my laptop needed. <laughs> what are you two doing? Uh, uh, we're watching the latest photos from Mars. Oh, great stuff. Worth every billion. <gasps> Why would he allow that? Well, that's obvious. He doesn't even know. <gasps> are you telling him right now? Uh, Ned, Homer has something to tell you. <laughs> okay, Flanders. You see... You softcore sophomores took advantage of my trustful nature. <laughs> the whole town is laughing at me behind my back. I guess you're the only real friend I have. Are you kidding? Homer's the one what wised us up to the sexy goings-on. What's wrong, Daddy? Well, Toddy, you know how I said our friends are like the Canaanites? Today I realize they're more like the Midianites. <gasps> Made in Humbleton, PA. Huh. I don't usually make big life decisions based on things stamped on things that I bought at a garage sale, but corn dog it, boys! What's this? Goodbye, Springfield. The Flanders family has pulled up stakes. You have laughed at us for the last diddly ass time. <laughs> but at least we have a chance to start fresh. So let's be on our best behavior, okay? Don't worry, Marge. I've taken every precaution. I submit! I submit! Hi, I'm Homer Simpson. Uh, listen, uh, neighborino. I want to start our relationship off on the right foot. Huh, what Jagoff left this here? you mind turning down the music? My baby's trying to take a nap. That's too bad, because my twins are just waking up, dude. Oh. Oh. Encourage me. Looking good. Feel the burn. Howdy, Humbletonian. Picnics and pixie sticks. I'll see your smile and raise you a wink and a giggle. 
<laughs> Everyone new begins here, in the dimple department. <gasps> Can I start yesterday? Uh, there is one personal matter. I'm afraid you'll have to lose the, uh, hippie lip. Uh. Uh. Daddy, why do you have to shave your nose, neighbor? You know what? I'm not gonna. My mustache has the right to life. It's my body and my choice. This is for you. Tonight on Celebrity Chop Shop. <gasps> Out my power. How am I supposed to eat without watching TV? Yeah, something tells me you won't starve, huh? <laughs> Homer, what are you doing here? I want you to come back to Springfield. Why? So you can make me a laughing stock again? No, I want to make you a respecting stock. Oh, Ned, I don't deserve you as a neighbor. But will you forgive a young, handsome fool and come home? See, I like this place. <laughs> now, Coach, I've tried to be Christian and respectful, but I guess I'm just gonna have to point out your $200,000 check bounced illegally. I still own this house. Okay, Ned, get ready for your welcome home surprise. <gasps> Oh, hey, Jerry, it's great to look down my nose at everybody again. Mind if I waggle my finger a little bit? Go nuts. Planners. Okay, that's it. It's really irritating. 